you guys come out to the tasting room and taste my wines, I am making wines that are pretty unique, certainly to say the least. Um, lower alcohol means uh, you know less sugar. Earlier harvesting does mean lower alcohol, and that does mean lighter body and lighter color. The wines that we make and the wines that you'll be tasting at the at the at the tasting room, or if you get them in these little packages that arrive at your house, um, the wines are going to be lighter in body and lighter in color. But that doesn't mean less aromas or less flavor. And that was a key conclusion I came to about five years ago was that in the wine world, less sugar and less alcohol and less oak actually means more flavor and more aromas from the vineyard. So in this world of bigger, bigger is better, in the wine world, less is actually more. So welcome back, 2012, we're talking about September 18th. We're finishing up with Pinot Noir. This is the last of the Pinot round. Um, it's a little riper. Um, we pick our, our first rounds a little um, um, lower sugars, and then we'll pick some medium colored, uh, medium um, ripened stuff. And now we're finishing up, we're getting ready for Zinfandel and getting ready for ice wine as well. But this is the last of the Pinot. It looks stunning. Um, I'm, I'm surprised most people haven't harvested their Chardonnay or their Pinot yet. Our Pinot's coming off now and we're done. It looks fantastic. This is what it's about, Russian River Pinot Noir. Life is too short to make crappy Pinot Noir. Incredible, incredible stuff this year. Can't wait. So we're out here in the middle of the night doing what's called nighttime cap management or Insomnia, punch downs, I don't know what you call it. We're out here in the middle of the night, punching down, doing fermentation activities. Try not to kill ourselves. That's, that's goal number one is, you know, don't fall off the ladders. Um, don't inhale too much CO2. As the fermentation is kicking out, we're gonna be punching this cap in, and all this nice, uh, hot fermentation, as you can start to see, it's active. We are foaming. If you felt this, you guys, it would be, well, it's almost warm enough to get in there and snuggle with, except for the fact that it would kill you because of all the CO2.